Hi everybody, San Bonani, welcome to my channel. I'm Gontanum Legend. On this channel, I have a reality TV shows, my celebrities, and my YouTubers. So, I want to talk about uh, Makoti, Are You the One? This was episode 7, and uh, about a prince trying to resolve the conflicts between Uchablile and Osofi. Okay, now. Apparently, because I didn't see this on the last episode, and I don't think that this is something that happened on camera, apparently Usofi cried after the whole thing of the nail tech being called to remove her nails. She cried, she even called the prince, she was crying on the phone. So prince was feeling really, really bad about it. So she took Usofi to, her, to his family so that she could learn how the family does things. It wasn't for Usofi to be enslaved by his family and it wasn't to cause conflicts but he is feeling like that's what is happening okay so he calls the sophie to find out what happened with the nail tech why is uh, sophie now calling me in tears about this whole thing what happened why would you call a nail technician to take out the nails as a cast off initially prince is thinking that Uchablile is wrong but he ends up uh, taking inside the glass off so when he calls Usofi, Usofi explains, you got to know, brother, the thing is, uh, we were using oblong when apparently, so obviously I feel like the nails were dead because she was about to cook for the family, and I feel like, so I called the technician to help her with the nails. But the way that she tells the story, Uchablila, she tells it in a way that, you know, it's like a uh, softer and that she didn't I mean no harm, and uh it really sounded like you know what i didn't even think that i was doing anything wrong i just felt like since her nails i was actually helping her so she's like putting it as if she was trying to help sophie and she did not know who sophie will get upset about it okay so the brother decides you know what i need to talk to you uh to you face to face okay i thought it was a good idea for the brother to actually speak to so um to Chablile after speaking to sophie just to get both sides of the story because that's what you do when you're trying to help people resolve a conflict okay so he goes and sees usofi usofi still tells the same story one thing that surprised me about usofi is how respectful he is to her brother i was like it's almost like two different people the jablile that sophie is dealing with and the jablile that i uh, saw so, uh that um the brother is dealing with I like two different people he, she she's very calm she's very just uh, very respectful I'm like, what happened to the Sophie that we've been seeing, seeing in the last few episodes? So then she explains again and she says that no, if uh, Jab, um, if Sophie was uh, hurt or um, by what she did, then she's definitely going to apologize. She's asking the brother if he thinks that Sophie will forgive her. I was like, what happened to Jablil? <laughs> I okay, but yeah, you are a certain way to your sister in law, and then to your brother, you are a different way because then it makes the brother feel like oh, Sophie is just being dramatic for no reason. Oh. Okay, so then uh, later on, they do go out with uh, Sophie. Now he's getting uh, the side guy, Sophie. He's explaining to Sophie what Jamlila said and the fact that she will apologize, but getting also a side glass Sophie as to what happened you know with um that whole thing with her calling her and crying now she tells her side of the story goes yeah no bonus is a nail technician didn't understand why but on top of that Ujabrilo was shouting at her because she had visitors which are her friends prince is surprised because prince is like why would you have visitors at my mother's house when you yourself are a visitor okay sophie's trying to Make sure Prince doesn't focus on that and focuses on the wrong that Uchablile did. She's like, your sister was shouting at me uh, because she was saying that we brought alcohol the, to the house. And then Prince is like, but why would you bring alcohol to my mother's house? I don't even bring alcohol to my mother's house. I never bring alcohol to my mother's house. And then she lies and says that, you know, she did not bring uh, alcohol. It was a champagne, but it was a non-alcoholic. Uh, champagne she does say in the data session that she just lied because she felt like that it's going to be an issue if she says that it was uh, alcohol anyway you guys 
I do like that Prince is trying by all means to get both sides of the story before he makes a conclusion on what's happening with the situation. But I do feel like he is one of those uh, that is likely to take the side of his family, especially because Uchabulile is very much manipulative. The way that Uchabulile is with Usof, he, she, he's not, she's not like that when she's dealing with her brother. So her, um, the brother is not getting the whole truth because obviously he is not there when Jabrila is acting uh, crazy, you know. At the same time, I'm feeling like Usof is wrong by lying because at least if U U Prince is going to be trying to resolve the whole conflict, then he needs to be resolving it based on the truth, based on, on what really happened and and the real reactions of that day it's not like oh Chablile was reacting to nothing the alcohol was there so i felt like it was wrong for her to lie um, uh, as well listen i do feel like usofi you no know, prince are going to go ahead and get married regardless of the conflicts that there is in the family because i do feel like usofi gets along with the mother-in-law and prince is already making ama arrangements or kokilo bolo because he did have a conversation with the uncles to say that he does want to go uh, he says he wants to go uh during easter which i think it's the easter that we just came from like last month and he wants to go and see uh, uh, he wants to go and initiate in Damazamalobolo and all of this. So I do feel like the conflict that is there right now between Usofi and uh, Uchavlile doesn't look like it's going to affect the plans that Uprint has when it comes to them uh, getting married. Anyway, you guys, tell me what you thought about this episode, especially when they're relating to uh, Prince Jablile and Usofi. And also, do not forget to like the video before Pumegiona. Share it with your friends, with your family, and even with strangers.